Hey, Math 43. I've been looking at the Padlets and seeing that folks are asking for more um, probability questions. So what I thought I would do is I will take the problem of the week, and this was on the from the Sunday announcement, and it's on our homepage. And it is they're saying go ahead and do it as a table problem. But what I think might be um, good, you can see the the key on the homepage for the table. I'm gonna instead of doing it as a table, I'm gonna rework this as a Venn problem. Because tables and Venns, especially when there's a two by two situation, meaning two categorical variables with two options each, and here I have yes or no on insomnia and yes or no on headache. So that's what I mean when I say two by two. And anyways, two by twos, you can go directly from a table to a Venn. So let me show you how I would have done this with a, a Venn, and then I'll go through all of these questions. All right, so if I was gonna do this, I would have made my two events, and I would have put overlap because they said there's a both um, option here. So let me go ahead and I'll put headache here and I'll put insomnia here. And this said this was 5%, so I'm gonna write 0.05 here because whenever you have the and on the table, it would be where the row and column overlap. So I would have put the 0.05 here on the table, but I'm gonna put it in the football if we're looking at the Venn. So now I'm gonna go and I'm gonna back this up and take a look at the two other numbers that were given. So I see there is a 26% chance of a headache. So what that tells me is this entire circle has to add up to 26%. And a pretty common error is to put the 0.26 here. I get that all the time. And that's not what you wanna do because this little moon right in here, those are the folks that just have a headache and don't have insomnia. We need this entire circle to total out to 26%. So I'm gonna undo some of my last scribbles here. All right, let me get rid of that 0.26. And basically what I need to do is if I already know that 5% is in the football, by subtraction, that would mean 21% was in the left moon. And when I say left moon, let me color code this. Left moon, I'm talking about this area here. It kind of looks like a moon, sort of. All right, so now you can see that the two pieces of that um, circle, the left moon and the football, they total out to 26%. All right, let's go ahead now and let's take a look at the last number. I have 14% here. So with the same rationale, I'll have 0.09 because I need this entire circle to total out to 14%. And 14 minus five is 9%. Now, I have my three events, I have headaches and not insomnia, headache and insomnia, insomnia and not headaches, but I need the neithers, right? I need the ones that neither have a headache and neither have insomnia. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add up my three numbers here. And if I look at that, it looks like it totals out to 35% because 21 and nine is 30, 30 and 35, 30 and five is 35%. And when I subtract that from one, right? If I've accounted for basically 35%, then that means the, the number that goes in this complement, or I should say in the rest of the universe, is 0.65. All right, so I've got my working Venn diagram, and let's, let's start figuring this out. So it says, what's the probability that a person does not experience insomnia? So for part B, I want the probability of not experiencing insomnia, so I complement. So if I look at I, and actually before I go into this, let me erase all of the little shadings I have here so that maybe we can talk about these individually. Okay, so if I wanna talk about I complement, let's look at I for a second. If you look at I, and I shade that entire circle, we can see that the probability of I is 14%. So using the complement rule, this would be one minus 0.14, so that would get me to 0.86. Okay, and that's that one. All right, let's look at C. What is the probability that you experience neither a headache nor insomnia? And again, let me just erase my shadings here. So if I want neither, this would be I complement and H complement. You also could have written it as H complement and I complement. The order when you have an and doesn't matter. All right, but if I want neither, that would be the folks that are in the outsides of these circles, and I can't do the greatest shading on this, but I hope you get the idea. Just you're not in either of those two circles, and we have that number represented down here with 65%. All right, and again, let me erase my shadings. If I can do this gently, there we go. All right, let's look at part D and see what this says. It says, what is the probability that you experience a headache but not insomnia. So I want the probability that I have a headache and 
at the same time, I do not have insomnia. All right, so as we start to go through this, let's see which part of the Venn diagram I wanna include. So if I want a headache, that puts me in here. But on top of that, I need to not have insomnia, right? So I need to actually get rid of, and let me color code this again, I don't want the football, right? So if I'm talking headache and not insomnia, it's this part of the Venn diagram. These are the people that have the headache and at the same time do not have insomnia, right? They're not in that insomnia circle. So that number right there is just gonna be 21% or 0 0.21. All right, and again, let me try and see if I can just very gently get rid of some of this shading. Oh, I did it. All right, let's see what E says. All right, what is the probability that you, oh, this is the other way, insomnia and not a headache. So now I have insomnia and not a headache. All right, so if it's insomnia and not a headache, that's gonna be over here, it's the right moon, so that's gonna be 9%. All right, and then let's see F. What is the probability that you don't have a headache? All right, and I forgot to erase my scribbles. Let me erase some scribbles. All right, so the probability of headache complement. Okay, well, if I look at my headaches, my headache folks are in here, all right? And if we add that up, that is, what, 26%? So the complement rule would say go 1 minus 0.26, and that would get me to 0.74. All right, and then last but not least, what do we have for G? What is the probability that you experience headache or insomnia? So probability of headache or insomnia. Now, you have a couple ways you could do this. You could use the formula. You could do the probability of a headache plus the probability of insomnia minus their overlap. And if I go through that, Sorry, let me erase my shadings here. If I go through that, we know the probability of having a headache is 26%. The probability of having insomnia is, what did we say, 14%. And their overlap is 0.05. And I'll just show it to you graphically again, right? The 26% comes from these folks, right? The 21 plus 5%. There's my 26 for headache. All right, and then let me get a different color up here. And let's look at the 14% we had for insomnia, right? And what got counted twice? The football, right? You can see the football got counted in the 26% and in the 14%, um, right? It was counted in here and in here. It was double counted, which is why we subtracted out once for balance. And so let me again kind of erase my scribbles. So if I add these up, that looks like that is what? Um, 26 and 14 is 40, 40 minus five is 35. So my answer is 35%. And when you practice Venn diagrams enough, and I'm not sure if you're there yet, I happen to be because I've been doing this for a while. So this is not me doing some kind of humble brag. But I, I know that when I have a Venn diagram, if I want the or, I just need to add these three numbers together. And we had seen that there. All right. So that's how you could have done this entire problem. Um, using a Venn diagram rather than a table. And just for fun, I want to add this in. I want to add like, let's call this part H, R headache and insomnia independent, right? Because I think that sometimes we have trouble doing those types of problems. So if they were independent, I would look at, is the probability of headache and insomnia equal to the probability of a headache times the probability of insomnia? Let's see. So headache and insomnia, we said that was the football, that was 5%. Is that equal to, well, headache is 26% and insomnia is 14%. And I'm gonna get my calculator out and let me just do this. All right, 26 times 14 is about 0.036. So I have 0.05. Is that equal to 0.0364? And it's not. So are they independent? The answer is no. All right, and if I wanted to add on, are they disjoint? All right, give me a moment. Um, that would do probability, what do we have, H and I? is that equal to zero? And we said that the overlap, there was a 5% overlap, that is not equal to zero, so the answer there is no. All right, so before we head out of here, just a couple of things to wrap up. You don't have to use this formula for independence, I just tend to use it. Um, you could have used the conditional one. We could have said is the probability of H given I equal to the probability of H? We could have done it that way. I'll put a little question mark there. Or we could have even gone, is the probability of I given H 
equal to the probability of i. So you could have done the conditional version. I just, for whatever reason, I tend to just default to the and. The other thing I wanna mention is if you're on a Venn, which we were here, and again, let me get a new color coding here. Anytime you have an and like that, and I had three of them, it's some part of the Venn, and when I say some, I know that's very vague. When I say some part of the Venn, let me erase all my scribbles one more time. When I say some part of the Venn, it's either gonna be the left football, all right? It might be the right football. It could be our, our standard and is always the, the football. And then if it's um, both complements, which we saw um, on part C, when it's neither, all right, that's the what I call or reference as the rest of the universe. And I, I'm not gonna do a great job coloring this in probably the best I can do on my iPad right now. All right, so we have something like that, okay? And those are your, your basic, your, your ands, right? So this blue one, just so we completely color code it, goes there, right? If I want my light green one, that was already marked. If I want the dark green one, that was over there for I and C, um, H complement. And then the, the standard, right, the overlap, the football, um, it fills in with all of those formulas that we've been using, right? We used it here and we used it here, all right? Okay, so there's another look at probability, a question that you've already seen. We saw it initially with a table. Now we've done it with a Venn, all right?